Sometimes people ask whether or not America was founded as a Christian nation, and one, one has to say, well, what do you mean by a Christian nation? If what you mean by that is a nation in which most of the people profess to be Christians, then certainly uh, the United States of America was and is a Christian nation based upon that sociological definition of a Christian nation. That's not what most people mean though when they say Christian nation. What they mean is the idea that, uh, that God was in covenant with the United States of America in order to bless the United States of America as a special people, as a new Israel, as, uh, as a group of, of, uh, of people covenanted under Christianity. And the answer to that is clearly no. The founders of the United States of America were influenced uh, deeply by Christian ideas, including ideas that came out of the Protestant Reformation. They were also influenced deeply by ideas coming out of uh, the Enlightenment. Uh, but they did not found the country as a Christian nation, which is why there is, for instance, no religious test for office holders and why there is a separation between the responsibilities of the state uh, from the responsibilities of the church or of uh, worshiping communities in the United States. I think that the confusion often comes in when, when people assign to the United States of America a providential place in history uh, that the Bible never assigns it. Uh, this shows up in people taking, for instance, Old Testament passages and applying those passages directly to the United States. The most common of these would be 2 Chronicles 7, 14. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, repent of their sins, and pray and seek my face, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. Uh, one can hear this uh, persistently on days of prayer uh, for the nation. But God did not promise that to a political body he did not promise that to anyone apart from the mediation of Jesus Christ. Those passages were given to the covenant people of Israel in relationship with God uh, through the, the covenant promises made to Abraham and then to Moses and then to David. And, uh, and those covenants are fulfilled in Jesus Christ. So the Apostle Paul teaches us, for instance, that all the promises of God find their yes in him. He is the amen to those promises. So the idea that we're living in a, in a Christian nation in that sense is really a form of theological liberalism. It assumes that a person or a nation can be a Christian apart from the regenerating work of the Holy Spirit, apart from new birth. That is contrary to the gospel that we have received in Jesus Christ. Instead, we, we must say we are Christians who live in a nation among many people who profess to be Christians, some of whom are and some of whom aren't. And we must be the people who give a faithful gospel witness in those days.